Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic. Positronic. I'm Barry P. Cook and I'm here to review the latest episode of The Flash entitled Family Matters Part 1. Now, this episode, of course, picks off where the previous, uh, picks up, I should say, where the previous episode left off, which was with Nora confronting Dion. And I just wanted him to get her. I'm like, get her, Dion. But he doesn't get her. They end up sort of having a conversation and she's like, I need your help. And he seems to kind of fall for it, which, oh boy, not great because what's she going to manipulate him into doing? We're going to have to see. Meanwhile, back at Star Labs, the pressure is on Cisco to leave. The girlfriend's like, well, I've tied up all my loose ends here in Central City, ready to go. And he's like, uh, no. <laughs> she's like, found a job or whatever in, in Chicago, wherever they're going. He's like, uh, no, not yet. <laughs> And he pretends that he's looking when he's really not. So I don't know if he's conflicted or what, but the pressure is on. He's got to choose between his Central City family and his Central City life or going with the, the girlfriend. We know he's going to go, but this is the plot part. The next thing we see is that that lady that the governor sent in to the CCPD to get Frost is still in town. And I'm like, what is she up to now? And now she's like scrutinizing Barry. And I'm like, leave B alone. So... That's not good. And Joe sort of confronts her like, what, you know, can you not just like chill out? And she's like, no, I can't. So we're gonna have to be dealing with her now. Back at the lab, they're trying to train Fuerza so she can help them fight Nora and or Dion possibly. Although they think she wants to kill Dion. So I don't know, but they're training her so that she can contain her powers and activate them at will and, and help team, you know, Flash. But we see that Caitlin really seems to have adjusted well to Frost being gone, which she said was going to devastate her. She seems very well adjusted, which I don't know. I suppose that's what they're going to, they're not going to. They had an option, I guess, to show her be like devastated and moody or just normal. And they went with normal. It's kind of hard to believe, but whatever. Next, we have a psych attack and Flash, of course, goes to deal with it and everything turns out okay because they get away or whatever after a confrontation but in the interim psych has attacked barry with these like purple energy tentacles and cisco talks about it and he says you know he attacked barry with these magenta tentacles magenticles if you will and i, I thought that was pretty funny then we cut back again to the lady and she's talking to joe who is still trying to talk her down and she reveals that she has cure bullets, bullets with the metahuman cure loaded up into it and that she tends to, intends to use them on metahumans. And I'm thinking she's crazy out of her mind. So that whole thing is building to some kind of unfortunate confrontation and we're gonna have to see where that goes. Now, we cut back to the lab and Fuerza is you know, emerging from Alexa as part of the training, but it turns out she's having a hard time controlling it. And she ends up hurting Cisco. And she's kind of like, I can't do this. And she sort of like quits and stuff and walks off. And of course, this is not good because they need her help. So this is just yet again, something that Team Flash has to deal with, as is usually the case. I want to take this moment to say that it bugs me that they keep referring to these forces as their kids. You know, Barry, these are our children and we are responsible. Well, you know, I never thought with my kids, but they're not your kids. If they were merely forces that had become, you know, corporeal beings that looked like humans, I would say, okay, you birthed these forces and they just look like people, but that's not the case. They are embodied within people who were already people. <laughs> so like, how can you say they're your kids? Because the element of the original person is still there. It just doesn't, it's stupid. Anyway, Caitlin goes and talks to Alexa to try to talk her down from feeling like she needs to quit. And she starts talking about how when Frost first emerged and she had to sort of deal with that whole thing and she realized that there was good within Frost and what she had to do was get in touch with that part of herself because they were merged at the time in order for the two of them to move forward and coexist. So Alexa, she says, kind of has to get in touch with Fuerza and, you know, sort of connect with her. Kind of like, I guess, Barry, a uh, Barry. Bruce Banner would connect with the Hulk or try to anyway throughout the series, the comic books and TV and movies and stuff. So I thought that was a good scene because I think it's, good to have your heroes in a position where they can 
apply their experience to help someone else. And that's what Caitlin got to do in this scene. Then they decide they're gonna go after Psyche. So Barry shows up to his location with Fuerza and she, with I should say Alexa, and she turns on Fuerza, she goes Fuerza mode, and they kind of deal with Psyche. And it gets to a point where they try to talk him down because things kind of come to a, an impasse. And so Barry tries to talk him down. And a lot of times these talking down scenes where, where Barry or the team is talking down a villain, they're pretty poignant. This was kind of bleh. I, you know, I wasn't feeling it, but whatever, it, it saves the day. And they get psyched to sort of agree to work with them because they explain to him that Nora is after him and so forth and so on. So he re reluctantly goes along. But when he gets back to the headquarters, he sort of becomes argumentative and almost goes off the rails again. And Fuerza's is like, hey, don't make me angry, <laughs> which I thought was cool because, of course, that's a reference to the Hulk TV show. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Anyway, we flash back to CCPD before the episode ends and Joe quits the force. Screw that lady. I'm not working here anymore. Later. He's out which I thought was bad because it hurts the PD and it's bad for Joe's career and life, but it was good for the character because too often in life, people stick with things that they know aren't right and that they don't like, but they stick with it for selfish reasons. It's their job, they can't, they don't feel they can leave, they're making good money, but they know something's right and they stay. And I've run into that in my work life where the higher ups like new stuff wasn't right that was being handed down from the people above them through them to us as the workers but they didn't speak up or they didn't just say you know what I've, i'm gonna walk away because what you're doing to the people under me isn't right but sometimes people do the right thing and joe does in this episode and i thought that was great because his character has a lot of integrity and i wouldn't want them to write it such that joe loses any of his integrity so i thought it was great that he quit it was great for the character then Nora confronts the team again, and she sort of drains. She, she, has, she has Dion slow everything down, and then the Flash team members, like, energy all gets drained, and they passed out. They, they pass out, and it's like, Nora, what did you do? But I don't know if it was very serious, because in the preview for next week, we see the Cisco's in the episode, so I don't know. But Barry sure thinks it's serious in the moment. But that was it. That was the episode. Um, again, I didn't think this episode was great. At least they managed to work Flash in in the suit this time. So that was good. But I don't know, it may be that the show is getting long in the tooth. You know, Cisco is leaving. The Wells' characters are not going to be in it anymore. This season's plot seems very silly to me. So I don't know. I don't know. This show might be starting to get bad. We know there's going to be at least one more season. Maybe they'll turn it around. Maybe the rest of this season will get good. I, I don't think it's great, but... That's what's happening in the episode. But I'll be back with a review of the episode next week. Until then, I leave you, as always, saying peace and long life.